so less is your sister asleep now? Yes, after t after talking for a little bit, she seems to pass out. Looks like it. And so she's taking this whole situation really bad. Not to mention, allegedly, today tomorrow's our well, today is the last day. Yep. We we should probably head to the living room. Your mom's waiting there now. Both Celeste and Roy walk down the, the hallway and into the living room. Hi, sweetie. Roy, Celeste, so what is it that you wanted to talk to me about? You both seemed really nervous about this. Almost as if you wanted to get off your chest. Yes, it's something that me and Celeste have known about. Something that we feel like you need to know about. And we figured this out since since the first week of, well, how what the town is, town is calling Orange event, and we know it's what caused it. Um, Celeste, if you could please go get him. Right. Celeste walks out, out of the main room and into the hallway. Is it... Get him? Is it... Is it someone I know? No, it's not someone you know, but at the same time... Well, you know them, but just not as a... You don't know them personally. Just, you just know their name. Oh? Yeah. Um, I think it's better if it came from, if what we are about to tell you comes. Um, it, it's something that I can't explain myself. It's, um, Celeste walks back into the room with Delta. Wait, what is that? Why is he... Honey, I know it's a, a lot to explain all at once, but this is something that you need to know. Am I... What am I... What am I missing exactly? Why is Delta here? I mean... I... Do... Did you... Were you expecting me... Do you want me to go sacrifice myself? Is that what you're going to ask? Delta! What? I mean, that's what most of the citizen, what most of the Citadel wants me to do. Delta, just... Yeah, 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 I got it, I got it. Calm down. Alright, uh, Miss Yobashi. This is... What your husband and daughter know is something that's a little too heavy to hear all at once, which is why when I heard that Celeste had a sister over the phone, over the phone, I asked her to make sure that she, she's rather out of the house or asleep, but preferably asleep. Okay. The best way to explain what's going on is to show you, so, uh, Celeste, Roy, if you could please step back a bit, I, it'd be better. Just don't blow up. Just don't blow up anything here. Relax, I at least have some control over my powers. I'm... I'm sorry, powers? What exactly do you mean by that? Just keep an open mind and... and just be ready. <sighs> Delta um, transforms and turns into his extra knight. Before before Emily Emily Yobashi can respond, Delta powers down just as quickly as he powered up. Um. So yeah, I'm the one. The, I guess what the government is calling me the armored predator, but I really don't prefer that name is if you could avoid calling me that 
Wait, so you're the one who's been out there, been fighting all those things, fighting you, you, you've been out there, I don't, how, uh, um, how, well, it depends on what how you mean, if you're wondering how have I been able to do it, well, that's thanks to, uh, um, me being at a good, a strong enough level to actually take those things down, as well as constantly improving at the same time. If you meaning how I got my powers, that will, um, that will all become clear in a few hours. Or if you're wondering how does Celestine, your husband, and Mr. Obashi know about it, it's because they were there at the awakening of my powers. It's a lot to take in all at once, but let me try to go through it as slow as slow as I can. Delta takes his time telling telling Emily what has happened up to Orange Event up to now. D D Delta a a answering whatever questions she has, as well as answering for Celeste and Roy, who have helped with wondering why she had kept, why they had kept it a secret from her. So Caroline is, I guess, in a sense, the one in charge of all this, the one who's put all of us in the bunkers. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. We are taking this surprisingly well. Well, um, it's, it, it makes, even though it sounds so out of the ordinary, so unbelievable, it just, at the same time, it just makes sense. Whatever, loosely described, uh, loosely used the word of what sense means, but, yeah. So, what exactly are you going to do now? Why, why come tell me now? Well, it wasn't my idea, it was your husband and daughter's idea. I was against it, I was going, I was, at least while we were in the bunkers, I was going to say something until after, but they were insistent. So I figured, why not? But... I'm not just here to explain things. I'm here to let you all know of what's about to happen and why you need to stay put in, stay put in your house and do not leave. Do not let your daughter, um, Celeste, younger sister, leave no, the house no matter what. At least until everyone is out of the bunkers, until everyone is being transported out of the bunkers, you must stay here. Wait. Delta, you didn't explain this over the phone. What's going on? The mayor is closing up the bunkers. Wait, wait, wait. But we have, we're, well, we're still expecting another shipment of food, at least for supplies. At least that's what the other, every, everyone else believes. He, already, he closed A and B district off during the night. C district is going to be closed in a matter of a few minutes. I needed to get as much dress as I possibly can, which is why I'm here now instead of, well, during the night. What I'm planning is, well, it's, well, I think, let me explain what exactly I am planning. Delta takes um, a few minutes to explain what his plan is, as well as the involvement of the Hammer family. Wait, 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 so you're telling me that you're planning on making yourself known and dragging the Hammer family into this. I'm not dragging them into this. They are... I asked them what if they were okay with this. They agreed. If they, did, if they didn't agree, then I wouldn't make myself known. But at the same time, this doesn't just benefit me, but it benefits them, and it benefits them. Because... Noble's parents get something out of this, and Noble, well, he gets satisfaction out of seeing me, because he, 
when he heard what my plan was, he was on board right away. Making myself known may be stupid, may be risky, may be any word to describe me as insane, dumb, or crazy. But it's the plan that I want. Which is why I, I am asking you and telling you to stay in your house. I've put up a little something around your house to ensure that nothing threatening enters as long as you don't leave. It's a little barrier that I've been working on for the last, well, for the entirety of our stay in the bunkers. It'll last, it's going to last for, well, who knows, as long as I'm alive, those things will, the barrier will stay up. And, and, and as, if anything threatening comes around, it'll just reflect, it'll just, anything that's attacking will just get bounced off. I need you guys to stay here, not just for me, but for your own safety. This is the best course of action. The plan, my plan may seem, again, it, it's very risky, but it's also, but if it works out, we get, I get the best case scenario. This is what needs to happen if anything is going to be done about what, about that, well, I guess what every, what every single person in Citadel believes. I know that the returning festival of Carolyn's Bill broadcast may have brought light to me, but some may be a bit hesitant to believe that. Because she was broadcasted, she was broadcasting herself. Thanks to the evidence that I, um, I have, thanks to the evidence that I have, it will make it clear that it's not fake and that it was Caroline's statement at the festival was true. But with that being said, that's all I have time for. I need to get going now, otherwise I'm going to be too late. Please, stay in the house. Do not leave. You all will be fine. So, us, Roy, Mr. Yobashi, Thank you for keeping this a secret for now, and Miss Yobashi, I'm sorry I had to spring this on you so suddenly, but it was what they wanted. So, I trusted their, I trusted them. I, I trust and hope that you haven't decided to say anything about this until, until this is all over. Delta walks out of the house and closes the door, and makes his way down the street, walking towards the Hammer residence. So, how'd it go? Ooh, when is that? When as well as you expect? Oh, I'm gonna give him some space. They're definitely gonna need time to themselves to discuss this. You ready? <laughs> More than you know. Let me go get my mom and dad and we'll head out. Noble walks back into his house and gets his parents. As Noble's parents walk behind him, Delta smiles. We thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Hammer, for coming along. Coming, going along with this plan. You guys have no idea how much this means to me. Don't mention it, Delta. You've been a good friend to Nova for a long time, and based on, and we've known, known since the beginning that you were never the type of person to hurt your brothers. And you said the plan, yes, we may have been a bit hesitant, but I, we have faith. So, shall we get a move on? Yes, let's do it. Noble takes the lead and walks up the street towards the exit of the bunker with Noble and his parents following suit. As they approach the bunker entrance, they see a horde of civilians surrounding the mayor. Please, all of you, please calm down. What do you mean calm down? 
you're closing up the you're closing up the doors. Oh, well, well, we haven't even gotten our latest shipment. We're running. We're low on food. How long? How long do you think our rations will last us? Oh, two weeks? One maybe. But we don't have the time. We won't have enough food. We need. You need to keep the doors open long enough. Yeah, what he said. Without, we're running low on rations. We're gonna be. We're gonna run out before we know it. You need to keep the doors open long enough until the next shipment arrives. Please, please, I understand your concern. The issue is, is that we are out of time. The military has been unable to stop Caroline, so we need to close up the bunkers. Caroline already knows of our existence, so they will be coming for us as soon as night, as soon as it's midnight. At, at most, she'll, the soonest she'll attack us at midnight. We must close up the, the bunkers now, before... It's too late. We cannot risk anything right now. You, you think that you can... What about the other... What about the other people of Citadel? You think they're gonna be fine with this? A and B district has already been... I've already been closing up. C district is now, and D district will be following up right after this. Again, this is the... This is the best and only option we have. Wow. This is pathetic. As Delta speaks up, all the civilians turn around and watch as in, their sh in shock as Delta stands before them. What? <laughs> you honestly didn't think I didn't make it in here? I was the first one here. You guys are really slow. You little brat. You could have saved us a lot of time if you just gone out there and did us and did Citadel a huge favor. That way you at least would have been worth something. Oh, do you think I wasn't at the returning festival since none, no one was able to find me? Civilians start... The civilians take a step back. Oh yeah, I was there. I saw Cameron's broadcast. I, I saw how uh, the guilt just washed over every last one of your faces. The guilt, the horror. Some of you, mm, some of very few of you are, are actual innocents, but most of you are people who have. Well, harassed me in the last four years. Soon to be five, but that's not the point. Do you think that you can just come up here? We, you do realize we can just throw you out there right now. You want to try it, old man? What did you call me? The man, the man attempts to, to grab Delta on his shoulder. Before the old man can react, Delta, um, Sudo, Judo tosses him on, on his back and puts him in an arm lock. Ow, 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 okay, 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 let go, let go, let go. Delta gets off the man as, as he, as he tends to his arm. <clears throat> what the hell? How are you, when did you get so strong? Who do you think caused Orange Event? The, the citizens as well as the mayor look in horror as their eyes widen. <laughs> oh yeah. You think I'm bluffing? You want to you want to call it? <laughs> Delta puts on his armor and watches as all the citizens, some falling to their knees and some taking another step back. The mayor especially hiding behind his, his bodyguards. Delta powers down quickly. <sighs> well, <laughs> I can say that was a, about as good a reaction as I could get. 
now, this is where one thing comes in. I'm gonna make a few things clear. One, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yes, I have been the one taking those, those min Caroline's minions down. I heard one of the uh, uh, radio on Caroline on one of the meetings because apparently she has a few ones, a few more advanced ones. Her, their official name is Dead Names, but or DM, but that just sounds like something from a, a little role playing thing, which isn't the point. The point is, I've been the one taking those things out, not for Citadel's sake, not for the military's sake, but because I want to get payback against Caroline. That's all this is about. I I am not acting like a hero to Citadel. As I'm pretty sure those of you who watched the broadcast the mayor put up, the one recorded as well as the live one, you realize that I do not want to be Citadel's hero. I want to be Citadel's nightmare. You are most, at least 25% of Citadel has caused me an endless amount of suffering. It struck so much done so much things that is just despicable. And, frankly, do you all genuinely think that I wouldn't have a grudge or want to get payback on you either? <laughs> You're sadly mistaken. I'm gonna make this clear now. And real quick, thanks to the lovely people known as the Hammers, I'm gonna get payback. Jacob Hammer, if you could please step forth. Gladly. It is now my turn to start. It is now on for my act of this show. As most of you know, I am Sarado's top warrior, one of the best, one one who has a very distinct track record of almost rarely ever losing a case. Huh. Now, what I'm going on, thanks to the mounts and mounts of evidence that Delta has provided, I can, I can pretty much accurately deduce that 25% of Citadel is going to be held is going to be held accountable for their actions. Now, for those of you wondering, what evidence? How could Delta have gathered so much evidence on 25% of Cyril's population? Do you all generally think Delta did not come out there with at least some type of camera, tape recorder, something? He's known for the longest time that he is innocent. Of course he would have something on him to ensure his protection when the time came. And thanks to Caroline's little um, broadcast at the Returning Festival, that was more than enough evidence to put to be in heavy. Delta ha has all ever since the first few months of the little incident with his brothers, he's been recording things. Now. The list, I have made a list, of what most of Citadel, well, pretty much everything that's going to be, that's pretty much going to involve. Evidence is, is in so much in Delta's favor that it's almost sad, it's, Citadel won't even be able to put up a fight. What are, I can name, these are a few. One, well, harassment, attempted, attempted murder. Attempted at breaking and entering. There's a lot more on this list, but those are the ones that at the very least come at the top of my head. Citadel doesn't have much of a fighting chance against Delta. Which is why I'm now going to pass off, pass off this act. Back to Delta. Thank you, Jacob. Now, this is, I have, there is so much room 
for me to win this. That's almost sad. I don't even need half of the evidence I've collected in order to win this case. Now, why am I wasting time with this? Why not just go out and, and finish Carolyn off now? Because I want to make my point clear. Citadel has two options for this case. They can attempt to win it, pull every BS strategy they have, and win. But you, but you just win the case. I'm gonna make this clear now. You will lose the case. You will lose, and all who is held accountable for their actions will they'll be held for them, and the judge will do whatever will make the necessary call. But if Cedo even even makes a claim or tries to put up to lighten whatever sentence they it may get. You will take full force of, of this of, of the backlash of this case. Otherwise, if you don't lose the case, you lose against me. I will not hesitate to make myself a criminal. And and if you think, oh, the hammers will be held as accomplices, <laughs> I can ensure their protection. As long as I live, they will be safe. No one will get be able to put a hand on them. <laughs> you all will lose this. I've left and to ensure that I've left intentional loopholes. If you even attempt to jump through one, you lose to me. Your first round is up against the law. If you, if you win against the law, you lose. To me. Now, while I have been going on about this, I think it is time about, I think it, it, it is about time to wrap this up. So, Carla Hammer, who is our, the next act for my little show, could you please finish up? Yep, I am just about done, and boom. The Citadel doors stop from closing as the mayor and the citizens turn around as to notice this. Now, now, as if you're wondering what Carla just did, well, I'll allow her to explain. Did you really forget that I am one of the the, the best um, IT people in my company? I'm the one who designed the bunker system. Of course, I would know how to deactivate it. They may have added a few tweaks here and there, but it's still my creation. Of course I know how to stop it. It, being, it was very easy to control into. And right now, I am using one of my work computers, so it doesn't count as me hacking in. I am merely using what the company already has. Thank you, Carla. Now, if you excuse me, uh, that is about it. Oh, and if any of you even think about... If any of you even think about, well, trying to hurt anyone in the Hammer family, don't try it. I put up barrier, little barriers around them that pretty much will stay active as long as I'm alive. If you even attempt to harm them, they're going to bounce right off. You'll bounce right off of them. Bullets will bounce off. Everything. The only thing that won't bounce off is something that's strong enough, just as strong as a barrier, which rocket launchers do not count. If I'm going to make a... A good estimate, maybe about three nudes condensed and shot at once. That's about the best amount of firepower you're going to get in order to break those barriers. So, if you will excuse me, I do have something to finish off now. The, the civilians um, move out of the way as Delta walks out, walks out of the, um, of the bunker and rockets off, heading towards the school grounds. Now, if you... Now, now that Delta's gone, now it's time for the final act. If all of you could please follow me, I could display the final piece of ev evidence that puts Citadel accountable for their actions. If you could please follow me. Noble turns around and starts walking back towards his their designated house. 
is parents following suit. With Carla quickly deactivate, quickly reactivating the, the district, the bunker door to close up. Delta rockets towards the high school, knowing that's where Caroline is located. As he zoom, as he zooms past the park, the first, the first place he remembers using his powers. We, we look closer at the park and notice two, two hooded figures. Hmm. Delta's got a good plan. It, it's pretty good, actually. In all honesty, I don't, I don't really see Citadel coming out of this winning anything. <laughs> it's gonna be so satisfying. I mean, we do live here after all, and those people how do deserve it. You're right about that. Hey, should we get on with our plan? Hmm. Yeah, we should. But we should be prepared. We should um be stay on standby. Wait for the best opportunity for the plan to begin. All right, let's do this. The two hooded the two hooded figures vanished within the blink of an eye. As Delta approaches approaches the high school, the questions once again rise: Will Delta be able to stop whatever army Caroline has and put a stop to her once and for all? Who are the two hooded figures? Will are they with Caroline, or are they there to assist Delta? Who knows? But these questions will be answered in the next few episodes of Hunter History.